So a heart attack is when the heart muscle is damaged due to a blockage of flow to the heart muscle uh, when the coronary artery is blocked uh, from the plaque and uh, possible blood clot in that uh, coronary artery. What causes a heart attack is uh, a lot of factors that we can't change, such as our age, gender, ethnicity, family history, and also a lot of things that we can change, such as our diet, lack of exercise, so on and so forth. Uh, our bodies, our, our arteries would build up plaque, and those that narrows our coronary arteries and that puts us at risk for having a heart attack. You can prevent heart attacks by knowing your numbers, uh, your cholesterol levels, your blood sugar levels, frequent or at least yearly follow-ups with your physician to uh, identify risk factors that you can control and not control. Things that we can control would be we could exercise more, eat better diets, uh, take our medications, uh, manage our blood pressure, reduce stress. So those things would help us prevent heart attacks. The signs that you're having a heart attack are obviously going to be pain and pain can show up in many different areas. It can show up in the middle of your chest, go down your arm, up into your jaw. Women will present a lot of times with pain in, their, uh, in between their shoulder blades in the back. Fatigue is one, nausea, vomiting. Um, a lot of times people have sweats. Women are gonna have the cold sweats and men more are flushed sweating. Testing to put to see if we're at risk for heart attacks. Uh, one would be your blood pressure. If is your blood pressure elevated? Lab tests would be um, your cholesterol levels. Where is your healthy cholesterol in relationship to your uh, not healthy cholesterol? We do stress tests. There are cardiac casts to look for blockages before they get to the point of heart attacks. Um, echocardiograms. Those are the big ones that we look for.